Hello friends. In today's documentary, we will talk about A murder in the Virunga Mountains, the murder of Dien Fossi. In the mystical shadow of the Virunga Mountains, where hidden peaks are lost in clouds and mist, Diana Fossi's tragic destiny begins to take shape. Here, in the dense and mystical forests of East Africa, the story of a woman who became more than just a researcher is intertwined a legend, an unsolved mystery. In these forests, where time seems to stand still, unfold the final moments of the Monkey Queen, an ending that will forever remain shrouded in mystery. Burning Passion Two decades of tireless work, a burning fire of passion and unwavering dedication defined Diana Fossey's life in the heart of Africa. Every day spent in the Virunga Mountains is a struggle for the survival of the mountain gorillas, a life and death struggle against the forces that threatened their existence. Fossey, with a firm and sometimes almost militarily direct approach, goes head to head with poachers and local authorities, becoming both a hero and a pariah in the eyes of various factions. Each conflict adds a new layer to the complexity of her personality and mission, turning her into an almost mythical figure in the world of conservation. Fateful Morning On December 27, 1985, Karasok Research Station finds itself in an atmosphere of distrust and fear. Wayne McGuire, an ambitious young researcher, is roused from his sleep by shouting and commotion. As he makes his way to Fossey's cabin, his thoughts are a whirlwind of confusion and fear. What he found that changed the course of his life forever as his mentor, Dean Fossey, lay inert with a horrific wound. Her discovery splits the morning in two, a world before and a world after Fossey's death. The entire community is shaken, and shock waves quickly spread throughout the world. Unanswered Questions the initial investigation into Fossey's cabin raises a thick cloud of questions and suspicions. The evidence of a violent struggle, the disorder and the murder weapon, a broad knife taken from poachers, leave room for many interpretations. Suspicion quickly turns to several individuals, including Wayne McGuire and Emmanuel Rolakana, a local employee. The investigation is complicated by the involvement of local authorities and the international community, with each entity having its own set of motives and assumptions. Despite extensive investigations, the true motive and perpetrator of the crime remain shrouded in mystery, an enigma that continues to haunt all involved. Legacy of a Struggle Fossey's death did not mean the end of his struggle. Her spirit and legacy continue to live on in the hearts and minds of many. Mountain gorillas, once on the brink of extinction, are beginning to recover, a sign of the profound impact of her work and dedication. His conservation efforts become a model, inspiring generations of conservationists and researchers. Every gorilla saved, every forest protected, and every young researcher inspired by her story are part of a legacy that transcends the borders of the country where she lived and died. The Shadows of the Past Fossey's life, from humble beginnings to his status as a conservation leader, is a story of transformation and struggle. Her lonely childhood, her desire to connect with the animal world, and her failure to become a veterinarian were only pitfalls on her way to her ultimate destiny. Every step, every decision, every change of direction was part of her unexpected journey, a journey that led her to the mountains of Virunga and into the heart of the fight for conservation. Her personal story, full of moments of struggle and victory, reflects a life lived on the edge of a knife, between passion and obsession, between love and anger. Voices lost in the wind. In the search for the truth about Fossey's death, untold pages of Rwandan history and the world of nature conservation are opened. Fossey wasn't just a researcher, she was an emblematic figure in a much larger theater where the forces of conservation collided with those of progress and modernization. Her death is not only a personal tragedy, but also a turning point in a larger conflict. Voices from the past, unexplored relationships, and unseen connections provide a broader perspective on her impact on the region. In this context, her death becomes the symbol of a struggle between traditional values and the forces of modernization, between protecting nature and advancing economic interests. Every character involved, every decision made, every action taken adds a new layer to this complex story that resonates not just in Rwanda, but around the world. Fossey's death is not the end of his story, but the beginning of a new era in conservation and science. 
Her legacy is reflected in the works and actions of those who followed her. Mountain gorillas, once the subjects of his studies, become living symbols of hope and resilience. Every individual saved, every family protected, and every habitat preserved are testaments to her life and work. Fossey's impact lives on through conservation programs and educational initiatives, inspiring a new generation to value and protect the natural world. A never-ending story. Diana Fossey's story lives on in the hearts and minds of many. She is not just a figure in conservation history, but a real person with mistakes, victories, and passions. Her unsolved death continues to spark curiosity and speculation, with each new theory or discovery adding a new chapter to her saga. From journal articles and documentaries to campfire conversations in the Virunga Mountains, her story continues to be told and renewed, a living legend that continues to inspire and teach. The Undying Legend Dian Fossey, once a real woman with dreams, hopes, and fears, becomes an eternal symbol of unwavering passion for nature conservation. In the Virunga Mountains, where the mist slowly lifts above the trees, her spirit continues to haunt, an echo of a life dedicated to protecting the voiceless. His legend, intertwined with love, sacrifice, and mystery, will remain a source of inspiration, a point of light in the darkness of the struggle to preserve the natural world.